welcome to another episode of Game Overcast. Uh, my name is David Kalin, the Game Over CEO. Thanks for joining us. And this is going to be our big finale of season four. Um, this is episode 39. Um, so we are coming to the end of 2022. This is our holiday show. Um, so we're not going to follow the normal format of the show. Um, and then after the show, we go on a long break uh, for the holidays and to kind of Re rethink life <laughs> and rethink the show. Series um, finale. Series finale. This yeah. could this could be the end. This really could be the last episode ever. Um, but certainly, it probably will be the last episode of this format. Um, so uh, so thanks for joining us and at least this past year or two going on this journey with us and with me personally. Um, you know, as I kind of took over this show and and made it into something that you know hopefully you've enjoyed <laughs> watching. Um, so and it's all there on YouTube. If you haven't seen all the older episodes, you can go back now over this break and watch the old ones. Um, so thanks for all your support for the show, for me, for the businesses that that I you know love and enjoy. Uh, Game over and classic game fest. Um, so thanks for all that support. Um, also, I want to mention a couple of quick things. We're going to do a totally different show today because it's the end, uh, the series uh, or season finale. Um, you know, we're going to do it kind of different. Uh, I'm just going to do a really short uh, some some details here. I wanted to get out uh, in the beginning, and then we're going to go to the special warp zone land, Woo! and we're going to play some games. Ow! And that's all we're going to do. Woo! So, go. so I want to get the get the business out of the way. Look, this is this is a one pager, which for me, like, if I have a one page checklist, like, that's pretty good. Life's good. Get that business out of the um, way. So let's let's take care of business first, and then we're going to play. So right on fire. it's like a, it's like a mullet day. I'm going to do a little. Little business up front, but then we're gonna party in the back. <laughs> I could imagine you with a mullet. Um, I've I've had a mullet back in the day. Oh, I'm sure you have. Yeah, yeah. but I, it wasn't like a, a crazy mullet with like really long tails. It was just like a little short up here, a little long back there. So it was like a little. Yeah. It was a clean cut so mullet. It wasn't like redneck, like I'm from West Virginia mullet. It was like clean cut mullet. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Kind of like what you have right now, except like way shorter. <laughs> It is nothing like what I have right now, um, but thank goodness back then I did have hair, and uh, you know I didn't have to worry about this because some people would lose their hair young. Yeah. Like at least at least I was you know in my forties when it got really thin and and started you know to fall out, uh, you know whatever. But uh, um, but I feel bad for people that are like you know teens and twenties where they have oh, hair yeah. issues and it either. Um, I had a there's a guy I knew in high school where a patch, just a patch of the side of his head um, turned white. His hair turned white Crazy. in high school, yeah. and it was it was so sad because of course people made fun of him, you know, because that's what you do in high school is you know you tease anybody who's different, um, and uh, and so yeah, I mean it was it was rough because he was you know gray haired, white haired, you know, high school kid, um, but uh, but yeah, and then some people lose their hair that early, and uh, my hair has always been kind of thin, but I, I did have long hair in high school and college, um, and then. Uh, and then it just started to started to fall out when I started doing Game Over and had all the stress in my life. <laughs> um, but so let's get into the the show. We're gonna do some basics up front, take care of a little business, and then we're gonna party in the back. Um, so um, sales going on at Game Over. Don't forget um, from now till Christmas, um, now till uh, December twenty fourth, we're doing the Neo Geo Arcade sale. So you buy one of the big uh, Neo Geo Arcade tops for five hundred bucks, and then all the accessories for it fifty percent off. They make a stand, they make a riser for that stand, so it'll be like a full six foot arcade. Um, they make a stool. Um, there's also some separate like um, you know joysticks they have like that have games built in that you can buy, but anything Neo Geo, 50% off as long as you buy the $500 arcade unit on the same receipt. Um, so that's for like the ultimate Neo Geo fan gamer package for Christmas. Um, also, we have our clearance on clearance sale, um, where the clearance rack in the back of every Game Over store, everything in that that's on clearance uh, already um, is an extra 50% off. So please help us end the year with uh, empty buckets back there. <laughs> so buy all that other crap, that whatever's left back there, just buy it out. Um, it's half price. We're trying to get rid of that. Um, and then the last thing to remember is on Christmas Day, December 25th, the stores are closed, but we're doing a big sale online, 20% off everything with coupon code HO HO HO. Um, so definitely take advantage of that. Um, and then uh, next thing I want to talk about um, is fan feedback from the last show. Um, since we're going to do kind of a different format today, we're just going to play games. I do want to get this out uh, in the beginning of the show. Um, we had some comments from last week I wanted to share. Um, Turbo Cobra said, love the poster, the CGF poster, yes. uh, the new one. So we got a lot of love for that. Um, several comments about the poster. Um, 
Also, um, Ricky um, commented. Um, so Ricky was our DVD winner. Um, so the DVD is on the way, Ricky. You probably should have it right now. Um, uh, he said that Dan did miss a few cuss words over the show. He's watched all the no shows, way. I think. Yeah, yeah, way. He said that uh, he said you got ninety five percent of them, but there are a few that slip by you. Blasphemy. <laughs> I mean, there's no rule that we can't put cuss words because it is fucking YouTube. Oh. <laughs> I'm not cuss. I'm not beating out this show. I'm okay, kidding. there's no censoring this show because there's no another. Sh- so it's just going to be what it is. Yeah. So. What are they going to do? Cancel us? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> okay, um, but sometimes it slips through, and you know that's fine. Um, it's like a PG-13. Every once in a while, there's a swear word. You kind of look at you know your kids or whatever and be like, yeah, just just don't say it all the time. It's okay to hear it once in a while, but don't say it all the time. Okay. Um, but uh, but anyway, he says you got most of the cuss words, so that's good. We try and keep it pretty clean, so if kids do watch the show, their parents aren't totally mad at me or game over. Um, so it's okay if they're a little mad. That we just don't want them totally mad. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Also, Ricky said he enjoyed the um, he enjoys the show, and and I really appreciate that. And for for you and anybody else that watches the show, um, you know, I I really do appreciate your support. Um, but uh, but he said one of the things he likes the most about the show is the CGF uh, news, where you get the updates, the uh, the preview before the show, the wrap up after the show, all the details, uh, poster reveal like we had last week. So lots of cool CGF info you get from watching Game Overcast, because um, since that's like my that's my other job, my side hustle. Um, and uh, and he likes seeing new Game Over products, and we actually have one to show you today too, which I'll jump in here with real quick. Um, we just got these Animal Crossing uh, soundtracks. So cool. Um, very cool vinyl record. KK Slider's song. Yeah, so apparently this is all of KK uh, Slider's songs. So, yeah, I'm actually not a big Animal Crossing fan, but to somebody that is, this is pretty That's awesome. Um, the bad news is it's like a hundred bucks um, because it's like this this rare import, you know, soundtrack. But it is super cool, um, and we do have these on the online store at GameOverVideoGames.com or in our local stores. So if you need a last minute gift for the uh, Animal Crossing fan in your house, this is something that you won't find probably anywhere else in town. So that's cool. But he loves stuff like that. And I like being able to bring you those special little nuggets of information about Game Over. Um, and uh, let's see. He loves our game playing segments. Um, so he, he likes to see me play games, probably because I do so badly. Um, and then he likes Dan when Dan gets all fired up. Uh, you know, <laughs> So <laughs> so I get I get frustrated. Dan gets fired up. Yeah. Um, but uh, um, And he also enjoyed the, uh, the sharing of the personal stories of things from our collections. So like Dan and I, we would do this you know, show and tell segment a couple of times. Uh, every once in a while and show some things like, you know, our Rob or our, you know, Atari or our, you know, collectible, like my thermos and stuff. And I have more, you know, so maybe next season we'll do that again uh, and show some more cool stuff. Um, but he liked that part. But uh, he said, try and have a, a good and restful holiday season. And he understands why, um, you know, the, the format of the show has to change because it's just like, it's a, it's a lot of time and, uh, and stress. And, and, uh, and so thanks for understanding that. And, and to all you guys, like I'm, I really do, like doing the show. I like bringing you, uh, you know, hopefully some entertainment every week, some some joy, and even if it's just watching me fumble around playing a game, <laughs> you know, or being stupid. Um, but uh, um, but it's it's been a long year. It's been a long year, I think, for a lot of us. Um, it's definitely been a long year for me. Probably one of the toughest years I've had, um, and a lot of stress in my my personal life and in my work life, uh, family, and and all, all kinds of things, and uh, and health. <laughs> Um, the year has kind of started for me with a health crisis. It's kind of ending with a health situation, and uh, um, you know, it's uh, uh, it's been it's been rough. So, so I'm trying to you know focus on the good and and you know not not get too down on all that stuff. Um, but this is our Christmas episode, um, so uh, I'm really wanting to have some fun. Um, so Dan is here. We're gonna we're gonna get set up. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but we're gonna take a, a quick break. Uh, I'm gonna go to the special fantasy land that we all want to be in, um, the warp zone, where all you have to do is play games. You don't have to worry about family. You don't have to worry about work. You don't have to worry about the stress in your life, and uh, you know the holidays and shopping and all that. We're gonna all go, and you can come with me. We're all going. We're going on a holiday party. We're gonna avoid the stress, play some games, and have fun. So. Uh, I need a warp pipe, please. Dan, can you give me a warp pipe here? You got it. Okay, warp pipe. Let's go. Hi. 
Look at us. We're, we're in the, the fantasy warp zone, escape from reality place. I appeared. <laughs> so I, I was already here. I just live here. Dan was here. But instead of behind yeah. the camera, now he's in front of the camera. This is where David puts me during the week when I'm not filming the show. And then he pulls me out to film the show and yeah. shows me right back in. There's a, there's a little cage over there. We keep Dan in there. That's good. Please Man. send help. <laughs> so... Um, now we're in we're in fantasy holiday winter wonderland. Ah. Wait, hold on, hold on. So, so the we're phone. gonna we're gonna have fun hold and we're on. gonna relax and we're not gonna be stressed out anymore. All all of your worries from the week and from the month and the year and work and family and kids and all the blah, all the crazy stress in your life. It's right about here. it's about to go away. Ready? And this is, this is the first step. Ah. Look Do at that. Do you just feel the stress melting away now that you have Mary Mario on your? In your face. Merry Mario. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Woo -hoo -hoo. So good. That's cool. Can I touch it? No. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it. she said. It's oh, very, it's not like a sweater. It's, it's like it's plastic. Like a, it's like a sweatshirt. <laughs> it's like a plastic. Like it's from GameStop. So what are you gonna do? Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't exactly produce the highest quality. It looks it looks cool though. I wear it to a lot of parties and it gets a lot of reactions. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that's mm -hmm. a cool like uh, Christmas sweater party yeah. Uh, yeah. accessory. When we do ugly Christmas sweater stuff, this is my go-to. It's yeah. got a little Mario 3 Mario there. It's not ugly, though. No, uh, it's pretty ugly. <laughs> 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 All right, well, so for uh, our gameplay fun time, uh, Dan's picked out the game. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. um, before we get to that, yeah. though, we want to do some other Christmas stuff. So we want to do some, some presents, um, which, you know, I, I'm not huge on presents, but um, but one of our fans actually sent us presents. Um, I couldn't believe it. So Ricky, thank you for sending us presents, Thanks, and we're Ricky. gonna open them right now. Yeah. Uh, he won the DVD last week too, which is kind of funny. Like I sent him a box, he sent us a box. <laughs> yeah. So we, we switched stuff. It's like a what do they call it? White elephant, where you yeah, exchange, yeah. exchange gifts. Mm -hmm. So you got our Halo DVD, and we got some stuff from you. So, uh, but it's really nice. Like, and please like. I, I totally love and appreciate this, and you're awesome. But you know, but don't everybody send us stuff like it's it's no send me the stuff. Send stuff <laughs> if to you're Dan. Send. So he says, in ex David and Dan, in exchange for your gift of hours of entertainment on the podcast, I wanted to give you each a small gift. Who doesn't love random Christmas gifts? Are huh. you eating right now? Yeah, we're in the zone right now. But now you're on camera. You can't just be like just eating. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm doing just fine. Go ahead. <laughs> it is Christmas, I guess. Okay. I got you a candy bar for uh, David, I bought you a gift from a fellow game collector that made it last Christmas. So that's cool. Um, and Dan saw your gift, and he had to buy it because it had Dan written all over it. Uh-oh. It actually screamed Dan. Oh, boy. Wow. I wonder what vibes I've been putting out this Man, year. I don't know. So so we've got these. So let's see. That's Dan. Aw. And whoops. Oh, mine, feels pl mine feels plushy. I lost the bow. And David, here. Okay. Mine feels squishy. He wrapped them in everything. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is a very, very kind uh, Aww. super fan. I love it. Thank you so much. I feel so, so loved. So I'm glad Ricky run the DVD. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we we yeah. gave it to a good a good person <laughs> yeah. because right? this is this is a good So guy. who's gonna go first? You wanna go first? Um you go first? Yeah, you go first. Mine you has Dan written all over it, so it's, it feels like a, yeah. a squishy plushy guy. Okay. Let's see, is it a is it a Pikmin? Is it a Donkey Kong? Is it a Star Fox? <laughs> is it some other fourth thing? I don't even know. Oh, Socks? what do we got? No. Hat. Uh, <laughs> look at this. It's got Donkey Kong. Oh my and gosh. And it's a very nice, very soft hat. This is amazing. And I may never take this off. <laughs> and look, you that is very right you. Oh my gosh. This is great. This is well needed. That is very yeah. you. It just got cold today too. So it I, did. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day. Rest of the podcast, rest of the day. This Aww. is my, my outfit. That's Thank cool. you, Ricky. I love this. It even matches your beard, so it looks like these little braids look like it's actual hair. This is my bearded, <laughs> like you have some my kind bearded of braid. Or yeah. I could do like a <laughs> Manchu for Manchu mustache situation. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, good. Ricky, A plus gift. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Aww. Feeling loved. My head feels warm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. This is great. All you right. got a gift. So I got a gift too. Um, so. Thank you in advance. Um, so we're gonna open this up here. Sleeves up. And A plus on the wrapping too, because very I'm, good job. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm always impressed. Oh, it's two sided paper. Like it's Christmas on that side and Christmas on that side. It's birthday and Christmas. That's cool. All right, so I'm kind of nervous to open this. Let's see. 
Oh, whoa. He said it was made from somebody. It's very intricate. Yeah. <gasps> oh, wow. I guess it's like 3D like a printer 3D or printed, cut or something, but it's yeah, like duck wood? hunt scene. Is that wood? Is that, that real wood? wood? Yeah, I think. That's amazing. That's really cool. It's an ornament? Duck hunt ornament? Yeah. Oh, Aww. man. That's awesome. I'm going to give you a big hug. Come here. Come here, Ricky. God, don't Bring it in. Don't knock anything Bring over. Oh, God. Oh, thanks, man. Oh. That's really cool. That's really cool. This this is probably my favorite ornament now. Can I see? Wow. You got duck hunt, little duck etch there. Yeah. Guy. It's all like 3D-ish. Very, wow, very cool. Wow, man. I'm, I'm really touched. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, man. That's so cool. Thank you. Just the thought that somebody was like... I yeah. love you guys. I'm gonna put I it right here so stuff. we can see it like uh, while we're doing the show today. But that's great. Oh, thank you yeah. very much. Um, and also, I got a small thing for Dan because um, I did feel bad about the birthday Man, thing. I'm like, making I made, out. I know. Very good today. I just today. made such a big deal about the no <laughs> presents thing, and and I I think I I but I hurt Dan's feelings. No, you didn't hurt my feelings. Um, I just I'm respecting your boundaries. Yeah, I love presents. Anybody can get I me love a present anytime. But then it's like the more the more you give, and then. You know, if people don't have something for you, it feels awkward. No, to, it doesn't. I don't no. know. If I feel awesome getting all the gifts, so well, there's no no I judgment. I, I'm also just I'm too like <laughs> I don't know too reserved or something. I don't it's know. Okay, but anyway, I, I do have something for Dan. It's very small. Ho ho ho. Yes, that's our coupon. Is that code what you got me? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a ho. All right, what do we got? Or here? three hoes. What do we got in here? Oh, it's one of the things. It's one of the it is a thing. The Hallmark uh, uh, Super Nintendo ornaments. <gasps> you know, yeah. I've all, I always they see play people. play music too. Yeah. It's like a little Super Nintendo, and you push it, it and plays it plays music? like the. Wait, can I open it? Uh, yeah, it plays um, like the. Um, I think it's the Mario sound. You know, I always see people getting these, like from the game, yeah. and I'm like, you know, that would be cool, but I'm not gonna like buy that for myself. Yeah. So. Oh, I think you got to put. Uh, yeah, you got to put batteries in it. Well. Now we're doing it. Do you have a screwdriver? I do. I'm on the job right now. You have now, a screwdriver okay? in your pocket? Just I have pliers. On, the, on the hunch that something might require a screwdriver someday? David, how well do you know me? <laughs> Man. That's, we're not I'm not gonna I, not play I'm the sound. I'm impressed at that. <laughs> well, this is why you pay me the big bucks. I should have I should have preloaded it in there. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that uh, That's okay. You know, now we can hold, here, I'll open Now the we can shoot the breeze while the batteries uh, Go in the SNES. Oh, I'm sorry. Oop. Batteries require adult installation. Keep batteries away from children. <laughs> such a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, all right. Are you ready? Oh, this you hat's are ready. very warm. You're fast. Okay. You know, I have a literal, like, tool here. Huh? For that kind of thing. For opening a pack of batteries? Yeah. What's, what's called, the tool for that? It's called a knife. <laughs> You're the tool for that. <laughs> All right. But wait, I like the here. Here, turn the volume up. We're having some background ambiance. I need all of them. Ooh. We're in the winter wonderland. Well, you ruined it. Why do they make us do this? This is so annoying. One, two. Then you gotta like. Push it down. Why the hell would they use those little watch batteries? Why didn't it just, it, like one, AAA. one AAA yeah, would, would do that. Would be fine. And you gotta like push these down. So then when it does when it does go dead, then you've gotta spend like $20 on batteries to re replace, oh, fuck. replace it. Ah! It's like I filling- I don't think that's the right tool for it's that. It's like filling a Pez dispenser. Oh no, I got one stuck. Here, put your hand okay. out. Okay, got okay. it. Wrong tool. Luckily, I'm a little nervous here. You got your freaking knife and everything tools. in there. This little flathead is probably what we want. Okay. God, this is this is becoming the entire show. Is just trying to hear the stupid. Are you sure they're in the right noise. way? <laughs> I'm just asking. Yes. Then you need to like somehow push the spring down to make room for the last guy. Okay. I'm not even gonna screw it in yet. I'm just gonna play the noise. Yeah, make sure we're we in the right way. Hey. Oh, he's getting coins. Oh, 
How long does it go? I don't know. Wow. This is the first time I've heard one uh, like you know what? in person. You know what I'm not gonna do is is put this low on my tree for the cats, kids. For my kids to press every five seconds. <laughs> Oh, it turns off if you press it again. <laughs> what a great game. All right, I'll screw that back uh, in later. Now, I, I kind of have right. a gift for you, but it's in the form of, it's an experiential gift, David. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you Th can turn that's that- That's not a trash can. You can turn that back down. It is later. Um, <laughs> this is this is a game Okay. that's very near and dear to my heart, and it is it is the stupidest game in the world. Huh. It's so well, dumb. you're really selling it. It's the worst and the best at the same time. <laughs> and okay. that game is a very rare GameCube game. Yeah. We have Ribbit King. Ooh. So what Ribbit King is, is it's golf, except instead of balls, you smash a frog with a hammer, and then he runs around wherever he wants. <laughs> and there's no skill involved. So okay. I figured it'd be a good game for you to yeah, play. Yeah, that's great. That's great. And it has... Oh, it's two discs. It has a bonus disc, which has episodes of the Ribbit King TV series that only aired was in there, Japan. Oh, okay. I was yeah. going to say, was mm -hmm, there a thing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This huh. is the whole thing in Japan. I, I I didn't know. You know, I remember this when this game came out, mm -hmm. I was working at EB Games at the mall. And, uh, and I remember when it came in, it was one of those games that, you know, we were a very high volume... Uh, uh, EB, game, EB Games uh, video game store, right? Mm -hmm. So like when new games came out, it was like freaking, we got cases and cases mm -hmm. of them. This game came out, I think we got like two copies or something. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. something where I was like, what is this game? Like we only got a couple copies in a high volume store. Like it made no sense. Yeah. And nobody had heard of it. And it just seemed like one of those, yeah, just weird, like it's a party freakish game. kind of games. Yeah. We're like, oh, that looks weird. It you is know? weird. Um, um, the PS2 version. But now they're super cheaper. rare and expensive yeah, because they, they made... Well, I don't know how many copies yeah, they made, but not, not much. Many. Not the much. P the PS2 game is not super crazy, but this is like a three hundred dollar game now. Oh wow! Because of the COVID bump. Yeah. So um, okay. it's an experience. Well, I have never, so, I've never played this before, so I'm sure I'll be go. fantastic. Here, let's trade. You're gonna be second player because you're an. Oh, I'm player two. Yeah. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You show me, show me how it's done here. Okay. Now, do we want English or Espanol? <laughs> let's do English. Four for four. You know it's good because it's Bandai. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's how you know. Yeah, I I had this like cut on my hand and and I had I I got a Bandai to fix it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna jam your works. <laughs> okay. How's the wait, sound? Wait, that? Is wait. that loud enough? That's that's good enough. It's kind of a bop. That's cool. You know? The creatures actually look a lot like Animal Crossing creatures. You know, we were talking about Animal Crossing earlier. Mm -hmm. It's that same kind of style, like kind of anime, like big heads and big eyes. It is, yeah. Yeah. That's that's sort of, yeah. Is that Bandai's thing? Because it's, so we're gonna do. Okay. There we go. We're gonna do four holes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now you got to choose your character, so you got to press press a button to. Okay. Wait, something happened. Are you doing that or am I doing that? So do I choose mm. first? Oh yeah, you have to choose first. All right, look at these characters. We got a picnic basket. You got a, a alien. What does that say? Frolf on his. Frolf is the name of the game you're playing. It's frog golf, so it's Frolf. Oh, Frolf. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> there's a panda. Okay. And then there's um his name is Scooter. So I'm gonna be Scooter, and I'm gonna choose uh, Oreo Frog, and then you get to choose. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, I wanna be the Frolf dude. Yeah. Alien guy. I forget his name. He's got a matching frog, or you can choose whatever. I want a green frog yeah. that looks like a normal frog. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I got a normal frog and a really freaky looking guy. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're not going to do any special items. Okay. And we'll we'll start off we'll start off early because um, okay. we we want to ease David into the experience. We don't <laughs> want it to be too too abrupt. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you have to get Ribotopia. Wow! Look at that. So you got to get to the diamond into the water hole underneath the diamond. And there's the hole underneath the diamond. So okay. here's here's the basic controls, right? Like left and right will move your your camera so you can put the frog somewhere else. Okay, and that's this, your trajectory yeah. of the the C the, the C stick is kind of like showing you a different angle, right? So the the white circle, that's where your frog's probably gonna land with some room for error because it's a frog. Um, 
that's most that's most of what you're going to be doing. And then if that you almost seems too easy, you just move the target over where you want to go. Yeah, right? you'd think that. Yeah, you'd think. I, I, I did think. I can I just did think that. Put the just frog now. wherever I want, and it's going to go where I tell it to. Except yeah. the frog has its own motives in mind, and the frog could be working against you. So you got to be strategic oh. about where to place Wh your stuff. Man, what now, did they ever do to upset the frog? Some more complex stuff you can do is if with the the, the left and right D-pad, you can kind of put a curve on it, you know? So if you want to go, like, around this tree, you can do that. Um, huh. You can also, with up and down, you can change the arc. So if you want to go over something or if you oh, want to try okay. to scoot under something, you can do that. But we're just going to keep it simple. So I'm going to use the C-stick to kind of do this, then move the joystick around to put my frog where I want it to go. And... I'm gonna go ahead and try to pop this. You don't want to go in the water. I'm gonna pop this balloon, then I'm gonna jump in the water and try to get some of those points. Because the, the the object is not to necessarily be the first of the hole. The object okay. is to collect points. And the huh. more random crap your frog does, the more points you get. Okay. Okay. So here we go. And okay. then you gotta kind of deal with this bar, which you know, a, a. There he goes. I'm gonna pop the balloon. We didn't pop the balloon! You jerk. Why is he still going? Because he's a frog. He just does, he keeps going until he stops. Hop. Gonna catch the fly, which we didn't know was there. Gonna catch the other fly. We also didn't know that was there. Still swimming. Huh. Now we're getting more points for swimming. Land on the spider web. Spider web. Let's go! More flies! <laughs> yes. This is oh, all just shoot. chance. All right, this, this, this requires some input. This requires some input. Oh. <laughs> Escape! The snake! Oh Keep jumping. Gosh. And that's the end of my, my turn. So good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, wisely. Okay. Try to pay attention to your surroundings, but for the all most right. part, it's just random crap. Um, so okay. your C-stick is going to give you a better idea of where you're, where you're, you're uh, up and down. There you go. Now you can really see where... For the most part, and where is, am I trying to go? Like, where's the hole? The hole is up there. Uh, actually, let me see where the hole is. Let me see. Whoa! Where the hole is uh, there. No. There. So it's a ways away. So you can kind of see it there. That's the direction of the hole. If you want to start to head that way, we'll see if you actually make it there. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. Okay. So, so, so I don't want to go in the water. You can't get up that ledge on this stroke unless you hit this um, spider web, which is basically a trampoline. Oh, okay. Well, how about I do that then? You can do that. Go for it. That's a trampoline. So if I hit right in the middle of this thing. Maybe. This is all just, you know, trying to get the best luck you possibly can because the frog could also just screw you. Okay. Um, let's see. So you're going to... Are you changing your arc? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just experimenting here. When you hit A, it's not going to start okay. anything. If you hit A, it'll bring the bar up. Then mm -hmm. you got to hit A once to start the bar. Then hit, hit A again as close to the end of the bar as possible. For like to max get, power. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that that's like any golf game. Yeah. I guess. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So here we go. Bar. Go. Oh. Where you <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> oh well. Ooh. Get up there! Oh, Whoa. look at me go! Swim! Swim for it. Oh shoot, watch out for the uh, alligator. Uh -oh. Is he gonna get you? Maybe not. You lucked out. That's it. Well, my turn was a lot shorter than yours. Oh well, yeah, I got luckier that time. Now I gotta try to get where you are. So we're gonna go here, but what we're okay. gonna do is we're gonna push it up to the edge here to try to get further. Oh, okay. There. <clears throat> Does he say go? Go! Kind of exactly what you did. So I'm probably going to land right next to you. Oh, I got alligatored. I don't think I can do anything. Can't shake, shake out of there. Well, he's he's going to just bring me to the edge of the lake. Oh. Bleah. Goodness. Now you got to deal with that guy. Get out of here. 
I get all the flies. I don't know why I'm getting all the flies. Huh, so no flies on me, I guess. I guess not. You must have taken a shower. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Um, well, cool. Oh, Let's... you you might could hop right in there. But, oh, yeah. But he does have a little bit of, of recoil hop, so it's possible. I can't quite reach. Uh... Not quite. Um, right. Maybe if you land in that trampoline. You could also just go for points and grab that hundred in the in the uh, trees. But you got to make sure you miss the palms. Grab a fly, maybe. If you're first so in, so I guess I can't reach that far. If if you're first in, then what happens is every turn I don't make it in after you, the prize drops by a certain number of points. Oh. So there is some advantageous um, to just get in first. To get in first, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess since I can't quite reach the hole, well, that's gonna be hard to get out of, though, isn't it? Um, no, you could bend around it. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna try and do that. Yeah, you'll get there. Okay. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wait, why did I get minus five? Ran into a tree. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> I'm way over here, man. So... Sometimes what you can do is you can roll the dice. Just go for a warp. Ooh, that's max. Mm -hmm. Go! Whee! Now this, sometimes it takes you somewhere good, sometimes it brings you back to the start. Oh, right next to goal. What? Except back in, because there's a fly. Oh, yes. <laughs> Whoa. All right, let's go. You're gonna have to bend around that tree. What the hell? So turn and then use, yeah, turn so you miss the tree, More turn more. There, so you're missing the tree now. So now you wanna use the D-pad to turn your trajectory around. There you go, keep going, keep going, keep going, go more, yeah, there you go. And you're probably gonna wanna turn more this way and then use the D-pad again. That's all you. That's all you got. Yeah, that's all. Let's go do. up, so you have more of an arc, and then move back over. There you go. Come down a little bit. Okay, that should get okay. you. And then you have some room there in case you don't hit perfect. Okay. Make it in there. Go. Oh. I think that was too shallow. Oh, frog in. Oh. Look, it's your personality. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things about this game is the characters are just dumb in the best way. I'm going to go up on the trajectory to make sure I actually make it in there. <laughs> You're standing on top of the warp zone there. I know, yeah. Pow. Let's go. Frog, Frog in. in. All right, I got you by about 400 points that time. Yep. Oh, dang. Yep. That's because you got all those flies? I got a lot of flies. Yeah. Okay. You want to do another round? Yeah. 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 Okay. We're starting to really get into the groove of Ribbit King. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. This, this is a good is game. Fun. Yeah. It's a great party game. Do you game. play this game, like, with the kids and stuff? Or are uh, they too, too young to... Yeah, I have... I'm not quite ready to give them a GameCube controller. Oh. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're not little, allowed. They're a little young. Maybe my seven-year-old. Uh, oh, you're first. Oh, I'm first. Okay. Um, I'm gonna so sit let's back and enjoy I'm my candy bar. Here. Let you let you figure it out this time. Okay. These guys, if you land on the on these guys, they push you down. What are those? Your guess is as good as mine. It's like little sprouts. I don't know. Okay. All right. Um, you want to try to land on green though, and not the brush. Okay. Well, it's gonna be all brush. Looks like. Huh. Yeah. It's all brush. Warp it. Huh? Warp it. There's a warp down here. Oh, go in that. Okay, I see what you're saying. Let's see if I can get in there. Watch out. Like see right you. in there? Yeah, make sure you're not hitting a tree, though. Okay. Um, so I put it here and then curve it back. Is that what that did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna try that. Okay. 
have to hit it hard. The leaves are fine. Just don't hit the um, don't hit the the bark. The okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you might get a bunch of points now. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Lame. That's nothing you can do. That's Ribbit King. Oh man. Okay, I blew it on that one. We're gonna roll the dice here. Okay. There's a spidery down there. What do the spiders do to you? I don't think they do anything. I guess we'll find out. Huh. That was a good hit. Go! Pop the 50. Pop. Get over there! Pop it again! Pop it again! Oh, don't go up. There we go. Coming back. 90. Bouncing around. Into the water. It's a good run. That was a solid run. Okay. Solid run. Alright. Let's see. Okay, so now I oh, I can't quite make you could, it there. You could you'd make it in there because of you the, the recoil. Get, get hops. An extra hop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not recoil, but residual hops. Oh, you oh, might but get... I gotta avoid that guy. No, you don't. That's points. Okay. Everything is points okay. in Ribbit King. All right, let's see if I can get a max power here. Oh. Boom! Oh. He really Go! Liked... Go, he, Frog! He, he really liked that one. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! Come on! They're to totally nice and harmless. I mean, you didn't get any points for that run. What? You didn't land on anything. Huh. Let's see where these guys take me here. So I'm doing okay at this game. I'm just not getting that many points. Yeah. Are you trying to land in them? Yeah. Didn't you say that was bad? No, nothing's bad. Except trees. Here we go. What? <laughs> what? That's so weird. Into the, the web. That Water. was cool. Into another web. I'm way over there, though. <laughs> well, I'm just going to try and get in the hole. Get it. That's what he said. <laughs> All right. Okay. This, this looks almost too easy. Oh. But you keep messing up your... Uh, well, execution, like the one part you have control over. Well, if you make it in, you make it's it in. It's got the second, the second uh, effort. You're doing second effort. You're hop. doing okay. Ham, ham, ham. I just gotta figure out how to make it over there now. I'm just gonna keep going. You, I don't even know where you are. Whoa, super hit! What? How'd you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. Prize drops every time. Pow! Don't mess it up. Come on, Scooter. Is Frog your name in. Scooter? Yeah, he's Scooter. I don't know his name. Oh yeah! Yeah. All right, you got one more in you. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's very easy to come back in this game because, like, just yeah, it's just random. <laughs> Oh, big, big old lake to swim around in. Okay. Watch out for the mastodons. Oh boy. So we're get to the top see, oh, we're starting at the bottom. We, we gotta, gotta get, get our to the way top up of the, the mountain. Yeah. Up the mountain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I have to go first. Okay. Um. Oh wow, I can't even get. This is gonna take several shots. Oh yeah, this is a this is a big level. Okay. Well then. You might as well focus on points. That's what I was thinking. Um. <laughs> so should I go in the water? Yeah. Nothing can, nothing bad can happen in the water, right? No. Oh, there's one of those dudes. I don't want he, that. No, he'll give you points. I'll try, I'll try and get all these guys. The right only here. thing you really want to avoid is tree tree trunks, because they'll kill your momentum. I'm gonna try and do that. Okay. Do that trajectory, and then I'll swim all the way across. <clears throat> you'll get to the island. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <It's> so weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, swim, racking swim, up the you points. green bastard. Got a ten and a fifty in your okay. line. Boom. Okay. Ten. Okay. Fifty. What about that one? Uh, Got to fly. 
30. Yeah. Minus 10 for the tree. Minus 10. More flies. Into the warp? Are we going into the warp? No. Pretty good run. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right. We're going to grab some water here. We're going to go down this way to try to catch the other side. Pterodactyl. Oh, you're gonna miss that 50. Dang. It's alright. I've got... I've got plans. Okay. You got some more on the other side? Does he just keep going or does he ever run out of uh, nope. energy? he just keeps going until he hits something. <laughs> There's a 100 right there in those trees I want to snag if it lets me stop there. There we go. Okay, so I need more points if I'm gonna try and come back here, mm -hmm, right? So, mm -hmm. head um, if you so head that way, you could snag the... that hundred after you swim, but you want to swim there. So pull your pull your circle back, yeah. You'll land on a lily pad, but if you jump in the water twice, then you start getting plus two points for swimming. And then three times you get plus three points for swimming. So the more jump out and back into the water you get, the more points you get. Hmm. So I would, I would actually try to hit the lily pad on this way, so that you jump out and then back into the water. I want to hit one of these fifties. There you go. Then you'll hit a lily pad too. Yeah. Then you'll get double lily pads. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and do that. Probably. This is all just a guess because <laughs> nobody knows what's gonna happen. Got it. Yeah, all right. And then hop out. Hop back in. Whoa. Okay. I didn't know that was going to happen. Look, and I'm experienced at this game, and I still don't know what the hell's going to happen. All right, so we're going to this go... This flying around up here. Pterodactyl. Oh. I'm just going to do a little plop to grab that hundred on that island. Little plop. Oh, maybe that alligator's gonna get me. It's not really. Oh, so when you go in the water, you want to land as close to this edge as you can. So, so you then get every extra every points. little stroke is an yeah. extra point. Oh. oh boy, here we go. Uh oh. But you still get points even being in that guy's mouth. Everything gives you points except trees. Remember huh. that. That is vital. Well, that's even better though. You're getting two points I know. per move. So it's best to be oh, in that guy's mouth. Oh boy. Uh oh. What the pterodactyl hell? time? Now you're getting plus five. <laughs> Everything you do is extra points. Of course. He just threw me. That was quite a ride. Man. That was quite a ride. Look at you go. Oh, I want that hundred right there. That's what I want. Um, put your do one of those. There you go. So you have enough arc. Pull it, back. I gotta pull, pull. pull it back a little bit. You'll grab, you'll grab a fly, which will be a good thing. Okay. <clears throat> That's good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it gets me every time. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Oh. You get a double fly? Hey, oh, well, fly. No, no double fly. You're not fly enough. I can make it in right here. Do it. Thanks, pterodactyl. Frog in! Pow! Oh my gosh. Sorry I kicked your butt so hard. Alright, so now I need 2,000 <laughs> points in this next move, so I need to like hop all over the entire course and get all the way up there, which I apparently can't. Yeah, you get your D pad up. D pad up. You should be able to hop up there. There you go. Now you got a C stick to see where you're gonna go. There you go. I'm going to plug in my... Okay, I think that's right. Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> Jump, frog! Get in there! Whee! Pow! Oh, yeah! Frog right. in! <laughs> that's a whole thing. Okay. All right. 
Well, that was pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's wrong with the camera here? Trying to see my timing. Here? An hour. Do you want to uh, um, do a different game? Uh, yeah, we could do something else. Right. Did you bring anything else? No. Okay. This is it. What do you think of Ribbit King? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Really random. We had a ton of fun with it when I was when I was growing up. So. Yeah, it yeah. seems like something that'd be fun, like multiplayer. If mm -hmm. you do, you know, yeah, especially like time. three or four people. Yeah. But that's a lot of GameCube games. They're, yeah. uh, you know, it's a good multiplayer They're console. Good for that. Yeah. How? Okay. Um, so. Well, cool. Well, do you want to take a break and pick something else out to play? Yeah. For a little while. Or... Okay. Yeah. We'll be right back. We're gonna pick a different game. Okay. <laughs> Here we so, go. We're back. Um, we, we grabbed another uh, GameCube game that we thought might be fun to play on the show. This, this is, is David's generation right here. Ouch. Namco <laughs> Museum. So we're going to play some old school games, but play it on the GameCube so we don't have to change systems because we're lazy. Very much so. so. Okay. Let's um, go. So. What do you want to do? Let's see. So the choices are Pac-Man, Galaga, Dig Dug, Pole Position, or Pole Position 2, and Miss Pac-Man. Uh... I say we do Miss Pac-Man. That's one of my favorites. Let's do it. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Two-player game. All right. So this is this is me, right? Oh, so we're switching. All right. Okay. Yeah. Go. Oh, this is your game, so you're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> well, not necessarily. <laughs> I like all the graphics on the side. Yeah. Yeah. We've got like the arcade uh, cabinet graphics on there. Yeah. Oh man. I want to have a red! Ooh, they're fast. He's gonna catch you. Ah! Oh. Uh -huh. okay. Are you faster when you're not eating? Uh, yes, I think so, a little bit. Come on, feed him. Yeah, oh, sixteen hundred. Oh, oh yeah. You already got. Chairs. I like getting all the the ghosts, but sometimes it's just really hard. To yeah, do. it's pretty difficult. Yeah, get those hard dots up there. You could get them all now. Uh, oh, come on now. You can get any of them. Hey. <laughs> uh, time is not my friend. Got it. Boom. That is how you do it. Still you. Oh. All right. Ah. Uh, this is I'm playing it with the analog stick, which is not probably how I should be doing this, but why? Because I'm not as good. <laughs> you do hold it like this, you know, like you would in the arcade. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Hang on. That is an extra life, my friends. I don't think I'm going to get to play this game at all. You'll get to play. <laughs> when I say you get to play. Oh my god. <laughs> You're like my big brother. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you got go. it. Alright, back to level one. I did that on purpose so he Let's could play. I, I yeah, was feeling bad, you. see, thank so you. I had to. Yeah. I've got a little bit of a strategy here. Seems like they're changing really fast for you too. Yeah. Which that should happen like over time, oh. not right away. Oh wow. Okay. I'm up against the master here. Well, I don't think I'm the master, but uh, but I have played some Miss Pac-Man in my day. This is literally the game that was like everywhere when I was a kid. Yeah. That you know, if you just went to like, oh. Sh Ooh. If you just went to like a like a restaurant or pizza place pizza or something, they yeah. always Galaga or Pac Man mm -hmm. or, or normally Miss Pac Man. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but that's what we do. We would beg beg our parents like, please give me a quarter, give me a quarter, give me a quarter. I gotta get my fix. Yeah, and they wouldn't do it too. Like they were like a quarter. <laughs> you know how much? <laughs> that's a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we were so See, excited, and then we the and then back then, like we'd get that quarter, we'd be so excited and go up, put it in the in the game, and then you we'd play for like yeah, <laughs> like one minute and come back. I need another quarter. <laughs> what happened to the four, first quarter I gave you? Four ghosts. Oh, I didn't yeah. get cherries. Oh, I did get cherries. Uh, did I get them yet? Why'd you just leave the one? I'm gonna get it. 
Look how that few... is one rule of any Pac-Man game. You never leave just one because never that'll always it'll come back to haunt you that you left that one like way away somewhere in the maze. Like, oh crap! I if forgot I, that one. If I beat this level before you, what do I win? You're not gonna beat this before me. No what do way. I just? What do I win? You're so sure of yourself. I uh, give me a raise. I'll give you a raise. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a raise. Ooh. Strawberry. Strawberry fields. No, orange. Dude, <sighs> you got the you got the fruit in the in the brain, and yeah, it, it clouded your judgment. Yeah, it really did. It really does, doesn't it? Yeah. So sure of myself that I was gonna beat it before him. Yeah. Getting the dots. You left one. Oh, in, come on now. You didn't get a single ghost on that run. Holy moly. Well, that was awful. I'm you're embarrassed. Gonna, you're, you're gonna beat the level before you get the ghost. You're all about those points, man. Yeah, it's all right. Point chasing. All right, they meet. Running from <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> Ooh, hey baby. Ooh. So what's the difference between Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man? Uh, well. <laughs> the the video game, <laughs> not the all about the fruit anatomically. <laughs> oh come on now! Whew! I'm just gonna take a little break here for a minute. Oh, oh my gosh! I watched you die in my dreams. You have dreams about me? Yeah. Mostly of you dying. <laughs> in Pac-Man. I guess it's still kind of flattering. <laughs> Aww. I like the knowing that I'm in somebody's dreams. Yeah. Orange. Orange is a little bitch. <laughs> he used to get, he used to get oh, a life. Oh, no! Got him. Go, baby, go! Man, yes, sir! I got some catching up to do, dude. All right, all right. See, I clear, like, the... the the midsection first. I Well, sh nothing I could do there. Yeah, but, I got you. But, you know, you try and do the midsection, and then you leave the, the power pellets until, you know, at the end, because that's when everything starts going really fast, and you're really going to need the power pellets. Um... If you if you if you burn those too early and all you have left is dots, then it can be it can be a rough road <laughs> sometimes. I don't even care. I just want the dots. Give me the dots. But point point wise, Give me the your goal should be always to get you know one, get, get every two, ghost, three into the foe. Yes. So get all four ghosts Actually, and get all the fruit, um, because those get you a lot more points than just eating the dots. I mean, you gotta eat the dots though. I don't even care. Yeah, but see, like, you could have gotten mm. a little more points on that. Yeah, level. I could have died, too. That's true. I, I, had, I had to meet my husband. That's right. Mr. Pac-Man. We already have the same last name. <laughs> How romantic. I think I'm gonna, I think I screwed myself here. Oh, Janoga! Oh! Oh! Don't mess with the ghost, man. Don't mess with the ghost. Yeah. Here. <laughs> Patience. I want at least a fighting chance of getting some of them. Yeah. Get that orange. Friggin' orange. Orange is the worst color. Ooh. Why do you leave the top for last, man? That's that stresses me out. Pretzel. Oh, man, I didn't turn fast enough. But I've just got that one little corner left. Yeah. Oh no, player. Oh, game Ooh. over. Hmm. Let's go. Hey. So that's it for me. That's a store that I know. Game over. Game over for me. I already got the orange. Oh no, they're awake! <laughs> they're awake! <laughs> yes, they're awake. Ooh. 
that orange. No, I don't want the orange. I want to live. You're leaving little packs of dots that are going to be really hard to You're... come back with no power pellets. I'm... I have one left. But they're leaving me alone. Okay, okay. That's good. You're cleaning up. You're cleaning up some of the mess there. All right, and down below. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay. Oh, shoot. Time is of the essence. Pa pow Nice. All right, let's see if I can... If I beat this good level job. and you good didn't, job. then what do I win? Pat on the back. High five. High five. Pat on the butt. High fives are, are highly, highly praised. I know. Yeah. Especially from you. Highly valued. I don't I get tried high to give fives you, often. I tried to give you one earlier on the show and you ignored me. Oh shoot! Did you try and give me a high five? I did. I, I was sober, and you were uh, distracted. Did I leave you hanging? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. The viewers noticed it. Sorry. I want that pretzel, but I also want to not die. So. Well, that's what everybody says at a at a carnival. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna get it. No, 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 no! Get it! Oh, orange gave me a break. You see that? You she just, was like. You just did your last power pellet. I know. Oh ah. man, and you got oh. This is gonna be a tough one. This is you left a, a, a trail one. of tears <laughs> here. How many lives do I have? Uh, I think this has gotta be it. No oh way. my gosh. <laughs> you are Houdini. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna beat this low. Oh my god! Go, 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 go! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> ah, I don't there. believe it! No, I left to ah. <laughs> Oh, he left two. See, that's what happens. You leave those Dang, dots. Dang, man. And you, were, you were probably thinking, oh, I'm almost done. I'm almost uh, done. I'm almost done. Uh, that was a good run. Though. That was fun. That Ooh, was fun. Uh, different different game? Is there a um, two-player game on here? Yeah, well, two that was a two-player game, but yeah, let's... You want to do a different... Or are we done? Wait, no. Um, do you want to be done? Yeah, let's see if... if is there one that... Uh, um, how do I get back to the menu? Reset. Returned it. Well, that'll work too. <laughs> um, Which of these is two player simultaneous? Um, none of them. Galaga, Galaxian. I don't think any of those are simultaneous. I think it says it says right here two player simultaneous. Is it? Hmm. We gotta try them. Can we do? Can we Google it? Let's try, um, maybe like pole position or. Okay. Was that a snort? Yes. I snorted. Okay. Oh, uh, they have Pac Man. Options. What is the other thing? Okay, let me see over it. Options. How do you get down there to that Pac Man? You have to use the D pad? Why is your controller not working? It works. None of the other buttons are working. I can't. Huh. What happened? Uh... Oh, wait, I know. It did a weird thing. Okay. There, now we're back. Arrangement. So what is Dick Duck arrangement? Is this two player? Wait. How do you get back to? How did you get back to it last time? Hmm. How did oh. you get back to the? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're failing. Okay. Now I don't know who's who's. Uh, Your first player. Who's got who's got first? Okay, continue without saving. Okay. This is very detailed. It, it's it's bigger than than I thought too. Yeah. Very cool. But that's cool. Hearing the Mario music, like Mario World and Mario Three. The, the soundtrack for those just it just makes me happy. Mm -hmm. I could just listen to that just just oh sorry. <laughs> Clearly for a I long agree. time. I agree. I agree. Oh jeez. Well, let's try that. You want to do that? Yeah. Pac-Man arrangement. Maybe this one yeah. is uh, two player. Two player game. Uh, two B. player. B for two player. B. 
Okay, instructions. Oh, we're they're oh, simultaneous. It's, it's like Pac-Man tournament. Let's go. Oh wow. This is easy. Uh oh. You say that just as I die. It's cool. I think I won. Oh this, man, you really this beat me game. On that one. This is my game right here. I don't know about that classic crap, but this is. <laughs> I don't know about this new, new fangled, new, new, uh... Dash. You can dash through. Oh, you can dash. Dash through ghosts. Oh, jeez. Woo! There's a lot of sounds going on right now. I got the bottom ones. You got a magic staff or something. Presents! Get the presents! Wow. Okay. Boom. I keep beating you. No, I won that one. How? Look, win. From what? Me. I. <laughs> Weird. Right. This is. It's a little disturbing with the dots moving like that. <laughs> Distracting? Yes. I feel like I'm super, I feel like I'm high playing Pac-Man right now. <laughs> Dude, Whoa. do these ghosts seem like really crazy in this <laughs> They're one? They're 3D. Like, oh man. The dots are moving. Oh, wild. Boom. Easy, easy Ooh, stuff. it's close now. Easy peasy. 11,000, 11,000. I think I got you this time. Big time. Oh, barely. Whatever, over a thousand. Eleven thousand eight hundred, eleven thousand one hundred. We're close. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Get out of my area. <laughs> He's just bouncing around. <laughs> oh shoot! Uh oh, some kind of devil got me. Whoa. I got hit or something. Okay. Oh. Oh, you got more points than me. 14 9, 14 0. How? I, I don't understand the math Ooh. here. What do you mean the math? Whoa. This is weird stuff. This is weird. Yeah. Pac Man just. It just wasn't meant to be 3D like this. Woo! I got speed! Where's the last pellet? Oh, there it is. Ooh, somebody's better! Somebody's closer! <laughs> somebody's closer! <laughs> Damn! Ooh, whooping up now. 22,000 to 17,000. Doubling me. Ooh, doggy. What does this do? Jump? Yeah, let's jump. Oh. Holy moly! That's, a, that's quite a jump. You know what is really fun, though, is the Pac-Man uh, multiplayer arcade game at the at Dave & Buster's? Yes. That game is great. I agree. That is pretty fun. Because it's kind of modern, you know, souped up like this. But yeah. It's, but it's still... It's classic. It's still kind of classy. Yeah. This is the opposite of classy. Keeping it classy. Where's the last? Oh. Boom. Couldn't see it. I think I got you on that one. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, Boom. Mm -mm. Look at those ghosts. What? Seven I'm still ghosts. ahead, though. Look, 27,000, 22,000. 27's bigger. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Look at this garden. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. There's not a lot of dots here, though. Yeah. There's not as many opportunities for points. Yeah, I got you on this one, too. Ah, I almost had last ghost. Yeah, I definitely got you. I'm getting closer. How? 
Oh, but I had more dots and more ghosts. I got one more of these red things. No, I got more ghosts. Is that ghosts? What is that? Oh, jeez. What the hell? Okay, that's not good. Oops. Knocked him out. Did the go? Oh my god. Where Ooh. am I? Look at that devil guy. Oh, I'm out. What the hell? You get game over? Yeah. Oh. What happens if I eat the devil? I'm just there's gonna a, let you there's finish, a question, I guess. question for your biblical scholars right there. What happens if you eat the? You got me. Okay. So wait, what did we end up with? You win. You won. I know. I just I, I want to hear you say it and also see it on the screen. Uh, you won. <laughs> Game over. Oh. Boom. Oh, enter initials. Oh, Let's do look. it. Oh, uh, look. I had you by two thousand points. Not even that much. Oh. oh wait, I don't get to enter my initials. No, you don't. Lame. <laughs> not a sore loser. No, not at all. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Cool. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Did you guys have fun? Is everybody in the holiday spirit now, in the holiday mood? Yeah. Watching people play video games always puts me in a good mood. Yeah. Yeah. Playing video games makes me happy. Yeah. Especially old school stuff. Yes. This is a good one. So, it's a... Uh, I like that. I like yeah. that last Pac-Man joint. Yeah. The, the collections are always fun, and they make those for just about any console, mm -hmm. where you can get a collection of, you know, old Atari games, old arcade games, yeah. you know, the Midway, uh, Namco... Um, Capcom, all those kind of collections, really good. Yeah. Um, now there's a ton of them on like Switch and stuff. There's like, yeah, tons of them, stuff that you'd never even heard of, like arcade stuff. It's great. Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's it's we're eating good. <laughs> yeah. These are good times to be a gamer. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. there's there's new stuff, there's old stuff. Um, you know, modern, retro mm -hmm. stuff in the middle is pretty good She's too. Getting better. Some stuff in the middle is pretty yeah. good. Um, so good times, good time to be a yeah. gamer. Is this, so, is this the end? I think this is the end. All right. Um, is there anything you want to say? Uh, final parting words to everyone? Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I'm. I don't know what's going to happen, so I don't know. What. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna. No, we we're gonna really work know. it out though. But uh, David and I know. are gonna. We're gonna hash it out. What the next thing is, <laughs> whether I'm involved that like or we're not. Sounds like we're gonna fight. <laughs> whether I'm involved or not, or whether we're. You know, I'm doing something on the side or whatever. You know, um, this was tons of fun. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah. I it's always been love fun. Doing it. Yeah. So I'm really glad that you were able to do this with me. Yeah, me yeah, too. This was this was the um, kind of the ideal situation where it's something that I it, it's not in my main wheelhouse to be like real, you know, hey, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> kind right. Of person. Yeah. Um, and uh, and so Dan has really been a big help in not just bringing all the audio gear and normally working behind the camera to make it all go and edit and everything and make the shows look really cool like they did. Um, but uh, but just hanging out with you every day or every yeah, week every week um, has been fun yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so re rekindling our like the old our days. gaming romance yeah. yeah just like the old days <laughs> our romance <laughs> our romance yeah um, but uh, but anyway thank you all for for watching the show uh, I mean most of all thanks for you know shopping at Game Over coming to Classic Game Fest stuff like that um, you know they're both small businesses right I mean and so just like any other small business I mean it you know I hate to say it but it, it depends on people spending money with us mm -hmm. you know and so every time you go to a game over store every time you go to classic game fest every time you tell a friend about it or tell them to come like sell us their games or come buy games from us or whatever I mean it it helps keep this dream alive it keeps it alive for me um, but also keeps it alive for all of our employees mm -hmm. all of our customers you know people over the years and, and it's been you know over 17 years now um, that we've been doing this so I feel honored and privileged to do that and uh, and so thank you for watching this show for the past year and a half with mm -hmm. me in it um, and uh, yeah we'll we'll post something uh, you know in like January at some point on what the future of the show is going to be um, but for right now everybody uh, enjoy the holidays um, play lots of retro games have some fun with your family have some quiet time away from the family. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yep. Um, try and get that all in, um, and uh, yeah, just just try and enjoy life because you know one thing that that I've definitely uh, you know learned over over life, but especially these past couple of years, is that um, you know it's 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 not all it's not all good times, mm -hmm. right? And we see that with people that you know mental illness, you know politics, um, you know all kinds of stuff, you know, global war, climate change. I mean, there's there's a lot of negative stuff out there, personal health issues. Um, so there's always going to be negative in your life, but, um, you know, it's up to all of us to try and find the positive mm -hmm. and try and enjoy, you know, the time we have with the people we have and, 
you know, and the, the stuff that we have in our life and not spend the, your whole, you know, days down and depressed about your health or your job or your family or whatever. Um, so, so try and, you know, have a good Christmas, have a happy new year, um, you know, enjoy, be thankful for what you have and, and each other out there and, and take care of other gamers and your family. Um, so I don't know. I guess that's about it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for everything, guys. Thanks for your support. Um, have a wonderful holiday, and mm -hmm. we will post a future update on the channel in January. That's right. So that's it. All right. Game over. Game over. You know, in a post clock post-apocalyptic situation to end up at a huge department store that has clothes, toys, bathrooms, a uh, shower, um, food. yeah, food. I mean, that's, that's the ideal thing. You know, what you don't want to happen is the apocalypse happen and you end up like, at game over. like at, uh, well, no game over would be a good place too. <laughs> what? Not as much food, but there's entertainment for days yeah. for, for years. Or at least as long as you survive without food. Uh, as long as you have power. But yeah, game over with no with no electricity is not going to be much fun. Handhelds and batteries. Yeah, until they run out. Handhelds and batteries will only last you, a you know a month or two. Right there, you're not going to live that long anyway because you're going to die of starvation. <laughs> <laughs> what game? What's your what's your post apocalyptic game? What's the one game you could play for eternity? Uh, if I had eternity to play one game, what would it be? Um, hmm. Man, I don't know. Yars Revenge. No, because that gets too repetitive after a while, though. Maybe Super Mario World. That's a good one. Yeah. Because that's a platformer. Uh, it's one I like. It's got a lot of levels and, you know, variation. Um, that's a good answer. I could probably play that for a long I don't know, eternity. I could play it for months, maybe years. I don't know. I'd probably start gnawing my arm off after you know a couple of years of that, though. I don't know. Nice. <laughs> Spank the butt. Uh. Yeah. We could also get a different TV from back there. Let's just do that. This, is, this TV is fucking stupid. I hate this shit. Yeah. Okay. Why do we ever forsake you, little gray flat screen? I just wanted big, black, and sexy. Oh. Huh. Well, that's not gonna work. Is this on? <laughs> yes. We can't catch a break right now. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that's on that chair over there. Somebody dropped it. <laughs>